Hi, I'm Kevin from Relax and Learn Guitar, where I teach folks over 40 how to play the guitar so they can relax, have fun, and be part of a great online community. Now, back to our lesson. Two, I think. So, grab your guitars. Make sure they're in tune. This is just a standard tuning. Uh, I forget who it asked me. No, I didn't mark. I think it was Mark that asked me about capos. So we're not going to use a capo for this lesson. We're just going to use um, kind of standard tuning. Make sure you've tuned your guitars. Um, you should do that before you play every time. Hey, what's up, Bob? Sounds good there. That's good. And Lynn. And Lynn's here. So make sure you're tuned up and ready to go. We don't need a capo. Uh, we're going to do a little John Prine. Um, and I think it was Dave that said, he's, I think it was Dave Lisco that said he's been listening to John Prine all day. And we have a lot of catching up to do on John Prine songs. <laughs> there are so many good John Prine songs. The guy wrote amazing stuff and I love his storytelling. Um, just way down to earth and just good stuff. So, but yeah, there's a ton of songs out there. We're going to start with this one. This one's Paradise. So I'm gonna play this one through and let you know what you're kind of going for. So this is A Little Paradise by John Prime. When I was a child, my family would travel down to Western Kentucky where my parents were born. There's a backwards old town that's often remembered So many times that my memories are worn Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it away Sometimes we travel right down the Green River To an abandoned old prison down by Adri Hill Where the air smelled like snakes and we'd shoot with our pistols But empty pop bottles was all we would kill and Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train is hauled it away. So you're kind of going for a little bit like that. I did, uh, I'm not going to sing the whole tune. There's two more verses. If you've not listened to this song, um, you should. <laughs> I just love the imagery and... Um, him thinking about something that's so happy for himself and such a great memory and then how that kind of went away and why um, and turns it back around to kind of the ultimate end at the end of the song. Great stuff. I want to let you know that you can join the Relax Learn Guitar membership right now for free. It's where I've helped hundreds of people learn how to play guitar. So just click the link in the description and use coupon code FREE at checkout and you can get your free seven day trial. Now back to our lesson. So you want to get used to this. You're going to tap your toe and imagine that piece of string pulling your hand down on each down, the first down. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. And the down, up, down, ups, you don't have to hit all six strings. It's more of a rhythm. So that's how the D would sound. So it starts out with the D chord. When I was a child, it gets that pattern twice. When I was a child, my family. So when you hit family, you're changing to the G chord, and that's just for one pattern. When I was a child, my family would travel back to the D, to Western Kentucky, where my parents. That's another one pattern on the A7 chord. We're born. So 
So he hangs on the D a lot and just moves to these G's and these A's for one pattern each time you switch the chords to the G or the A. As a child, my family would travel down to western Kentucky where my A7 were born. Back to the D. There's a backwards old town that's G remembered back to D. So many times my A7RD. Don't forget to tap that too. So the chord changes are kind of fast because you're only going to use one pattern on every G and A that you play. And then he goes right into, he doesn't really take a breath. So at the end of each of the verses, um, he goes right back into, and daddy, won't you take me for the chorus? Now the um, chords are all the same. So these three chords get you through the whole song. So at the end of that verse, he goes right into, and daddy, won't you take me back to Beulin, and that's the G, Beulinburg County, back to D, by the Green River. Where paradise is the A lay. Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late. And that's the G in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train has A in a way. And if you want to get a little fancier. At the end of each chorus, I don't think he does it every time, but at the end of the, uh, definitely the first chorus, he's doing a little hammer on. So fret that D chord. If you haven't played one of those in a while, you've got your index finger here on the third string uh, second fret, your middle finger on the first string second fret, and your ring finger on the second string third fret. And he's gonna hammer on this index finger. So hammer on, that basically means that you're going to lift up your index finger. You're going to pluck that string, that third string, and then hammer down. That's how you get the really common in a lot of bluegrass. Hammer on down to, hammer on down, hammer on down to the third, um, on back onto that third fret of, or second fret of that third string. You can actually just kind of pluck all the strings there. Um, or just the third string and then do that. So it's... Terry's here. What's up, Terry? So he does that kind of um, as a little bit of an embellishment there in between the first chorus and the second verse. So from the top of the chorus, it's, Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River, where paradise lay? Well, I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train has hauled it. Don't have to do it there. I just think it sounds good, and I, I can tell in the record he's doing a little bit of a hammer on there. And then the other question I've had people ask is how fast. So, um, looking up the beats per minute and what to kind of use with a metronome, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but everything on the internet is not always true. <laughs> so, sometimes when you look at the BPMs, you have to kind of mess around with them a little bit. Where I landed, um, and I like this for the toe tapping part. So I want you guys to get really used to tapping your toe on the first down strum or that first root note that you pick for each chord. I land on 58. If you set your metronomes to 58. Okay, here we go. So 
it's hard to talk and do this. So when you hear the beep, strum down when your toe hits the ground. to the 58. Um, depending on how far along you are, you might be able to jump right into it that way. If not, then play it a little slower. So this is the, you can chop it up for your first John Prine tune, learning on the old Relax and Learn guitar. So if you guys have any questions, Dave Maxson also 3-4, any questions let me know. Otherwise I'm going to wrap things up here I think. Say, oh and Maggie's going to come say goodbye. <laughs> yes, she's got to check things out. <laughs> Everything. Oh, don't, don't lick the guitar. <laughs> don't, definitely don't chew on the guitar. We got to be careful with you. You eat everything. Maggie Mae says hello to members as well. Say hello to members. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you've not yet subscribed to Relax Learn Guitar here on YouTube, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys for the next lesson. Take care. Thank you.